hello all i welcome you all back onto this channel i hope all of you are doing well so basically in this video i am going to give you a quick insights on how to score full marks in engineering mathematics and you know maths is basically one of the compulsory subjects in any branch of engineering so we are going to discuss on basically uh, my intention is to give ideally the full marks but of course how to score maximum marks okay maximum possible marks around 13 to 14 marks in engineering mathematics actually okay so let's have a quick view on this video so firstly to crack any examination the first point that you should have clear cut idea is the syllabus okay now coming to the syllabus of this engineering maths the one important thing is there is a variation in branches okay like let's say for example if i'm launching a course for maths in mechanical okay and if a csc guys for a csc guy follows it then ultimately there's a huge difference in the syllabus okay many portions in mechanical are not there for uh, you know uh, computer science so that's why the first thing you all should be aware is basically identifying the syllabus okay so deal with the syllabus variations i would like to say syllabus variations has to be understood syllabus variations has to be understood too. is to be clearly seen so please look at the syllabus very clearly okay because many times i see even in uh, many classes students bring uh, doubts which are not in their syllabus at all okay not only from the chapters even uh, completely from different uh, chapters okay that chapter won't be in the syllabus of their particular branch but they keep asking and spending time because you know gate ha already has some big uh, amount of syllabus so don't waste your time in studying the topics which are not in your syllabus actually okay so please save this thing very importantly so first of all go through the detailed study of your syllabus given by the gate uh, in the official website and please make sure what are the topics you have okay so spend time only on those topics which are actually in the syllabus the second thing once you spot the syllabus then the ultimate second point is basically how to understand or how to learn the concepts actually okay so i would go to there so lectures from faculties so whatever the lectures you attend from faculties ultimately you know what are the platforms you follow of course and this concept building is a very important thing now concept building done can be done in basically in two ways one is lectures from the faculties on uh, you know basically different sources and textbook reading so again when you go for textbook textbook uh, in maths is generally like very uh, you know uh, very hectic textbooks and also the number of textbooks in the uh, available right now suiting the gate pattern is very low okay so one thing which i would like to suggest is this book can be uh, you know basically you can use the book b s gavel for concept building okay so this is for concept building so in b s gavel again please go for only those topics which are in the syllabus okay you open your syllabus sheet okay this chapter maps here so we'll study this topic so in case if you want to develop some excess knowledge you can go for b s gavel okay so it is uh, high engineering mathematics by b s gavel of course okay and once you learn these concepts try to find these applications in technical subjects or basically core subjects this point is very important okay like let's say if you are doing vector calculus for example okay you know calculate you will calculate divergence curl lot of stuff okay now where these things are used in your core subjects that's how the connection between your technical subjects and maths gets established and math is always a supporting tool to excel in your technical subjects clear so please do attend uh, this lectures from various faculties that you have and also i would like to recommend this higher engineering maths by bs gavel book to understand the concepts which are in your syllabus and for finding applications in core subjects you can uh, you know basically whenever you are studying technical things like in your technical subjects let's say if you want to find maxima okay then you know ultimately the first derivative has to be zero at the point of maxima or minima so like this connecting the topics could greatly help you and one book if i want to suggest here i would like to suggest advanced engineering maths advanced engineering mathematics 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 actually okay so mathematics by evin kwesik this is a really a fantastic book evin kwesik okay so this is a very nice uh, book in fact you can go through this okay so this book has all technical applications like let's say they'll talk about when they talk about linear equations they'll talk about circuits okay so when they talk about uh, differential calculus and all they again give a lot of examples so this book is for finding applications in core subject and this book for conceptual understanding okay so the building of concept has to be very strong okay because maths is all about understanding the fundamentals and concepts so if you understand these things thoroughly then ultimately you can apply them to problems okay with a little thought so this is how you build the concepts lectures and textbook reading with this suggested parts okay and the next thing which i would like to give is practice questions ultimately if you are in aiming for gate not only go for gate any technical exam or any exam in general pyqs previous year questions basically plays a very important role and exclusively in maths this pyqs plays a very great role because 
every year around uh, 13 marks comes in every paper mandatorily in ex papers like exit there are 15 marks but because of so many papers every year what happens these questions keep generally uh, come in the same uh, pattern okay means basically i don't say the exact questions gets replicated few, few times even exact questions got replicated but the kind of questions that come uh, is not completely new and you may have a doubt sir i am from mechanical or basically uh, some computer science then I'll do I have to solve maths of all other branches because total there are you know many papers and if you keep start solving from each paper then ultimately it takes a lot of time okay so I have done exclusively a video on which PYQs you should solve okay if you slightly go back okay so just a minute if you slightly go back to our channel gatewala English channel actually okay so this is the channel where uh, I have uploaded the things so if you go to videos and all updates are here of course so if you go in the videos here I have written PYQs of what all PYQs of engineering math should I solve okay so this established the connection if you are from a particular branch if you open, open that video quickly you can find out it's a short video of course it's some 10 minutes duration so if you open that video and you will come to know what all PYQs you should solve okay let's say for example I am from mechanical then which branch PYQs could be helpful to me clear so I have made this clear cut understanding and also during the concept building and all if you are aiming for 15 out of 15 of course you have to complete 100 percent of the syllabus but if you are aiming for maximum number of marks then i have made one more video actually then important topics and weightage some time back okay so this important topics and weightage is again one a video which we have done with a lot of analysis understanding the previous year questions so these two videos first how important topics and weightage and second what all pyqs i should uh, solve actually okay so what all pyqs should i solve these two videos i have made so if you have a eye with them then ultimately you can get oh sorry yeah then you can get a better clarity on what sorry okay so then you can get a better clarity on what all previous year questions you should do of course okay then once the pyqs are done ultimately you need some new questions so for these new questions we have uh, you know we have made some practice sheets and all of course we are going to circulate in some time and also this for practice problems you can again go look for textbooks and again this bs gravel is one good practice textbook of course okay so this is how you can follow the sequence the first concept building and once your concepts are clear not complete you need not wait till complete uh, subject to be finished but let's say you're studying two three concepts then again immediately solving problems on the two three concepts would greatly help okay so that's how understanding the lectures then going to a book reading and then coming for the pyqs pyqs are very important that's why i have kept some stars here so previous year questions play a drastically important role in uh, achieving any examination technical examination okay and this practice problems uh, can be practiced from bs gavel and also from the worksheets we keep uh, updating at different points now where to find some other resources of course this youtube channel what i have shown you all our gatewala channels like gatewala we have brand specific general and also english channel so you can follow uh, these things so that any update keeps rolling up continuously you can see there also you can see we have we have started basically a batch at evening uh, 7 p.m. daily we are taking classes okay so at daily 7 p.m. we have started a uh, we have basically started an engineering mathematics batch in English and daily 7 p.m. on this channel you are going to have classes okay and of course uh, it's been uh, eight days roughly eight lectures I have taken I think so right now single variable calculus is going on even today we have the class so you can keep attending so that I am covering syllabus of mechanical civil EC table computer science and uh, XC and data science also so you can keep attending these lectures so that it it, uh, it develops a great uh, boosting for your understanding in the knowledge of uh, maths actually okay or basically in understanding the concepts clear so we have this uh, batch which is going on in English this batch will be in English of course and this batch is completely free okay and I'm going to cover each and every part of the syllabus to the maximum possible extent of course okay and also to keep knowing about any updates you can follow this group this is basically the telegram channel uh, this code basically takes you to a telegram channel where all the updates about this English wala channel uh, gatewala English channel is basically uh, being posted clear so this is gatewala English channel so you can scan this so any video or any uh, thing that's going to happen on this YouTube channel it will definitely turn up in this telegram channel and this is my uh, personal group of course maintained by me and my students of PW so this group will direct you to me so if you have any concerns or any uh, basically if you want to uh, if you want to get in contact with me or if you want any guidance from me you can just uh, just scan this and you can join that group so that it will be of help some to you okay but every day we are starting this I mean we are continuing this series of uh, engineering mathematics and I'm going to cover all hundred percent of the syllabus of the branches what I told you clear so anyway once again if you want me to brief things quickly then this is what we have so first know your syllabus then after come for the concept building have a deep a depth understanding of the concepts and then problem solving okay and these are the resources and of course the uh, 
points which could help you and then please uh, keep following this uh, batch it could be helpful and i request you to follow this thoroughly so that any updates uh, that are coming up will go on so you don't miss any concept and finally thank you that's it okay because it's a short video i thought of making some a bit of uh, short videos but the important things has to be covered in this so thank you all we'll meet you soon again on this channel and of course today at 7 pm on this channel for live thank you